<clears throat> Welcome back to my channel, everybody. It's Leah with Skin Beauty Florex. I'm an esthetician here in Columbus, Ohio. I own a Medi Spa called Exclusive Beauty in Worthington. So if you're ever in the area, please come schedule with me. And I also own Skin Beauty Florex, which is an online skincare store. We carry the very best brands, and I love bringing you interviews with some of these amazing formulators, like Total, you know brilliant people and one of them is who we're with here today uh ben fuchs with truth treatment so thank you so much for joining us it's been forever and long overdue <laughs> nice to see you again like it's always nice to see you yay so i'm excited because since we have last talked um you have a few new products that i mean people are loving uh the scrub has been flying off our shelves we literally got like a mass order in and they were gone before we could even like yeah, you're, you're one of the few people that has that scrub really oh, yes, yeah, that makes me happy well good i love it it's amazing it's like yeah. it's a lot like grainier i guess that's the right word um and it's so good like i even like using it on my arms so Eat. i don't just use it on, I've used it on your heels yes you can yeah. use it everywhere yeah. so what made you think of this well i've been using it myself for many years and a lot you know, a lot of my products are, I use myself and I've used like the transdermal C serum, the transdermal C balm, the retinol gels. I've been using those for almost 30 years myself. And I've been giving to my friends for a long period of time. Um, not quite 30 years, but for a long time. And the pumice scrub is one of those. Uh, I actually used it, I developed it for myself and I gave it to a friend of mine and I used to make it for her. And I like, you know, excuse my French, kick ass products. I, I don't like to be timid, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I wanted to have, I wanted to, for myself, I wanted a scrub that would really scrub. It mm -hmm. wouldn't, wouldn't mess around. It wasn't, wouldn't get mushy. It wasn't soft. And uh, I have strong skin, so I, I was loving it. And I figured uh, that would be a nice product to put out into, into the line because most of our true treatment clients uh, like really strong products. Okay, and there are totally a lot of strong products. Most companies don't want to mess around with strong products. Mm -hmm. So there's a real niche for people who enjoy products that are, that are stimulating, that really do something for the skin. So pumice... You know, you women know about pumice. They use pumice, uh, mm -hmm. you know, pumice uh, stones for their feet. This is mm -hmm. this is basically ground up pumice. Pumice is volcanic rock, uh, and it is it's strong. And then I also boosted it with with a salicylic acid. So there's about one percent salicylic acid. But the vehicle, the base, is very gentle. Mm -hmm. So you get scrubbing action, but the base itself is like our hyaluronic honey cleanser. Uh, and even like our, a little bit like our peppermint salicylic cleanser, it's almost like a lotiony base. Mm -hmm. I use an ingredient called oleosomes, which act a, as a softener for the skin. It's not an oil, but it's kind of like a, a bubble that carries oil and also carries active ingredients. Uh, and then the surfactant, the cleanser that I use is a taurine based cleanser. Taurine is a very underappreciated amino acid that is involved in hydrating skin cells, keratinocyte mm -hmm. uh, hydration. So you get the surfactant activity without the irritation that most detergents or surfactants uh, will cause, plus you get that pumice, which gives you a really nice scrubbing action. I use it on my face, you mm -hmm. know, women, I don't know if I'd recommend that women have much more delicate skin than us guys do. Mm -hmm. uh, for guys, it's a great facial cleanser, and even for women, once a month or every, uh, every once in a while, uh, maybe once every couple of weeks to use as a scrub for your face, but certainly for your elbows, for your body, for your heels. We wanted to get more into some, into body products, and we're going to probably start doing that a little bit yep. more. I'm actually glad you mentioned that because I feel like a lot of people, um, you know, are almost surprised by the grittiness. Yeah. So I wanted to kind of share how I've been using this because I have very sensitive skin and I personally don't use this like straight out of the um, bottle, like on my face. And in the treatment room, what I do is actually mix a little bit with the honey cleanser. I apply it and make like a gommage mask yeah. out of it. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It you know it starts to melt a little bit, and yeah. it provides amazing results. So I think if you have a skin type like me, or like um, you don't have that like hardier skin type like you probably have, um, definitely you know use it. You know you can really play with this product and make it into your own. But yes, absolutely. That's a great point, Leia. Let me just reinforce that. Mm -hmm. All my formulations are designed to be blended. Mm -hmm. They're designed, they work together very well. There's no interactions between products that can cause problems. So mm -hmm. I really encourage estheticians as well as, as well as clients to be creative with mm -hmm. the products. You know, mix the retinol with the omega-6 healing cream. Mix the balm, a uh, true transdermal sea balm with the retinol. Mix, like you say, the high hyaluronic honey cleanser with the pumice cleanser. Mm -hmm. Just be creative and see what works for you. 
all the products are designed to work together and to enhance each other when you use them together. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's why I love these because it, it, that's what I love about doing facials is that I can really mix and play with different things yeah. and really, and you can do all this at home because these are all also obviously retail products and you can create these amazing results that I can do in the treatment room right at home. It's just being able to, um, you know, kind of go outside just the, like what the directions say. So perfect. This, like I said, has been amazing and it can definitely be used, you know, like you said, if you're just using it alone once a month, perfect. Like I don't over exfoliate. I don't usually recommend anybody over exfoliating, um, but such a great product, but I, I do use it more if I'm using like a mask mixed with, um, like a more calming, gentle cleanser. Yeah, that's a great point you say about over exfoliating. Um, mm -hmm. Because people always ask me that, how much should I exfoliate? And is, is, is every day too much? Is every other day too much? You know, what's not enough? Mm -hmm. And it's really gonna be different for everybody. It's kind of like, I know you lift weights and you go to the gym and you work out, right? It's kind of mm -hmm. like, if you go to the gym every day, you're not gonna necessarily get the same benefits. In fact, you may not get as much benefits as if you go every other day. Some right. people need twice a week. Some people need four times a week. There's a sweet spot for everybody. And really, and I know I've said this before to you, but it's worth reinforcing, the recovery period is when you get the growth. Yep. In other words, exfoliation and exercise are both designed to make things grow. That's why we do mm -hmm. it. So, you know, it's like in order for things to grow, you got to break them down first. And that's how the body is, is, is built. You break mm -hmm. things down and the body builds itself back up again. But if mm -hmm. you're constantly breaking down and you don't give the body a chance to build up, that can be counterproductive. Likewise, yeah. when you're exfoliating, mm -hmm. if you're constantly exfoliating, constantly stimulating, but you don't give the body or the skin a chance to recover, to grow, you miss the benefit. Mm -hmm. So you got to find that sweet spot where exfoliation, just the, amount, just the right amount of exfoliation for you so that you can maximize and leverage that refractory period or that rest period, which is when the tissue actually grows. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, it's kind of like skin intuition. Everybody's different. Like, right. Yeah, know your skin. Intuition. Skin intuition. I'm going to patent that. Uh, no, I'm patent. I'm patent. <laughs> yeah, you know when you need to exfoliate. Don't do it just because somebody said to do it or yes. what the bottle says. Because a lot of things say, like, you can use it, you know, every day or three times a week, but you might not need to. So That's definitely right. know your skin for sure. It's so important to have skin intuition. It really is. Next product is the Dermal Defense Complex Transdermal Booster. Yeah. And I love this product personally. I love all of them, but I really, really love this one. But I feel like um, a lot of people don't understand how to use it. Like if they don't talk to me first, a lot of people think they have to use it with the sebum. And those are the only two products they use like when they're using uh, it in their routine. So you right. can kind of uh, explain like what this is for and like how you can use it. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to use it. They're not wrong when they use it with the balm, first of all. Right, they're not. Because it will bump up. It will enhance the activity of the balm in the sense that you get all the vitamins in the dermal defense. Mm -hmm. You get vitamin, all the fat-soluble vitamins, I should say. You get vitamin E. You get vitamin D. Of course, you get our fat-soluble vitamin C, which I use every, in everything. You get uh, vitamin K. And you get a uh, another form of vitamin A, not retinol. Retinol is, of course, the most powerful form of mm. over-the-counter vitamin A. You get retinal palmitate, which is a form of vitamin A that's not quite as powerful as retinol. So it's like a multiple vitamin for the skin. So you bump up your uh, your two transdermal C balm if you're using it with your balm, mm -hmm. or you bump up anything really. You use it with the omega, you use it uh, with your uh, retinols. You'll bump up the value of those, and you, know, you call it a booster, and that's essentially mm -hmm. what's happening. Nonetheless, it stands on its own. Mm -hmm. It's a defensive product in the sense that it defends us against the environment. For one thing, it's got the vitamins, which are defensive. They're antioxidant. They protect against the environment. For another, it has one of my all-time favorite ingredients that's very underappreciated for the skin, and that's melatonin. Mm -hmm. Most people know about melatonin you know, as a, as a sleep aid, but melatonin is a defensive molecule for a lot of things. Melatonin, you know, they gave when, when uh, President Trump was, or Donald Trump, ex-president Trump was in, um, was he, he had uh, COVID when he went to the hospital? Mm -hmm. They gave him melatonin mm -hmm. as a treatment for the COVID, for COVID. Melatonin boosts the immune system. It's a defensive molecule in the sense that it protects us from the environment. Melatonin is anti-cancer. Of course, melatonin is sun protective. Melatonin does wonderful things when it's applied topically as well. So all mm -hmm. the benefits that you get internally, you, you can also, all the protective benefits you get internally, you can also get when you use melatonin topically. So I wanted to have a product that had melatonin, and of course we have our night treatment, our our uh, mask, our uh, the Vitamax. 
yeah, the AMPM mass, so there's melatonin there. And so I put melatonin in the serum. And then I put another one of my favorite ingredients that I don't get to use much, but I'm starting to work with it a lot more. And that's fullerenes. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of those? Fullerines. Yes. Um, they're, they're so cool. They're so yes. cool. Fullerenes. Is that like your patented thing or because I well, thought I actually did patent a formula with with uh, fullerenes in it. Um, fullerenes are also a defensive molecule. They're one of nature's most powerful antioxidants. Mm. For I'm sure most people know this, but oxidation is like rusting, and our skin and our bodies oxidize as part of the aging process. So antioxidants protect the skin and the body. The skin naturally stores antioxidants from the inside when you eat you know, apples or oranges or vegetables, the antioxidants from those vegetables and fruits uh, go, or grains or beans or whatever you're eating, go into the bloodstream and they get deposited in the skin. They store, in, they store themselves in the skin. So the skin is one of the places that the body will deposit antioxidants when you take them internally. Likewise, when you use them topically, the skin will store these antioxidants and you'll get protection from the sun and you'll get protection uh, from the environment, from wind, from, from toxicity, cigarette smoke, whatever is in the air. Well, fullerenes are one of nature's best antioxidants. That's number one. And if you look at the fullerene molecules, some people call them buckyballs because the guy who discovered them or first promoted them actually was a guy named Buckminster Fuller, who's a famous scientist and philosopher and researcher. Uh, and so they call them buckyballs sometimes because if you look at them under a microscope, an electron microscope, or even if you could do Google images and look at them, you'll mm -hmm. see this amazing molecule, and I don't want to get all nerdy here, but this is actually artistic and aesthetic in the mm -hmm. sense that the molecule looks like a soccer ball, except it's perfectly symmetrical. You know, you, you see molecules drawn with lines, you know, C, mm -hmm. C, O, N, like these lines. This one is, looks like a soccer ball. It's perfectly symmetrical, and it has 60 carbons, 60 pieces, and they're all, uh, they're all uh, situated perfectly symmetrical and it forms a beautiful little ball. And this beautiful little ball, as I say, is a powerful antioxidant, one of nature's best antioxidants, but this beautiful little ball also has a hollow center. Mm -hmm. And this hollow center makes fullerenes a perfect transdermal penetrant. Mm -hmm. And I am all about transdermal penetration. In fact, that is what, this, in my opinion, that's what distinguishes truth from every other product that's out there is that we focus and highlight transdermal penetration. This is something I learned in pharmacy school. Pharmacists study transdermal penetration because there's lots of medicines that are made that go into the bloodstream through the skin. Now, our stuff doesn't go deep enough to go into the bloodstream, but it can go into the lower levels, the lower part of the epidermis as well as the dermis. And that the fullerenes allow the vitamins to work more effectively. They allow uh, the, uh, uh, the melatonin to work more effectively. And we rounded out the formulation with something called squalane, which I'm sure you've heard of, which is another transdermal penetrant. So the dermal defense is an exquisite formulation in the sense that every molecule, as with all my formulations, every molecule performs some function for your skin. I always start dermal defense here. Yep. One or two drops is all you really need. You want to all think you need. It, right? You want to think of it not so much as coating the surface like with a moisturizer or a typical product, but as getting into the skin deep, like a nutritional supplement for your skin, in this case, a defensive supplement for your skin. And that's why I always say massage. You yeah. know, sometimes I hear women say, oh, I was told not to massage my skin. I was told just to pat. No, massage. Love that like skin. the worst yeah. rumor ever. <laughs> you heard that too? You know, you want to oh, pat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm you like, want to really massage. Yeah. You want to drive things in with ingredients, with uh, uh, with active ingredients. And you also want to mm -hmm. generate electrical charges in there. As you're massaging, you're generating electricity and improving blood flow and improving detoxification. No, I love it. And um, one, you're like the perfect example because I feel like you're aging backwards. You look better, even younger than last time I saw you. Oh, so <laughs> you're 61, big, of your 61 big ones, Leia. Well, no, you're not. I don't think I'm that. 61. And I started doing this before you were born, I think, probably. 1991, I started. I started. Well, I was born. I was like in. I was I was in school already. So let's oh, get there. Already, okay. All right. <laughs> but you're a little kid. You're a little kid. 
Yeah, so um, one other point I do want to mention about this is we do have a booster from a different brand that's a tissue growth factor, and it also boosts everything. A lot of people are not comfortable using growth factors, and that's totally fine. And this is like the perfect product for them, um, and everybody has loved this so much. So I feel like it doesn't get enough love as some of your other products, and I don't you know. That's the problem when you have a lot of products, and yeah. I, I, you know, I started out with four products. Mm -hmm. And then it became six products, and then it became eight products, and now I don't even know, it's probably like 20 products. And I'm trying to narrow it down, but I love formulating so much, and mm -hmm. there's different niches that each product fills. So I'm going to try to tone it down a little bit, but we do have, like you said, we well, do don't have it, You like the products. Don't tone it down. I know, they're kind of fun, <laughs> you know, but you can only do so much. Yeah, no, that is true. But um, definitely, I think originally this one was like a special edition. Are you guys going to keep this? Because I feel like you'd have a lot of upset people. I think we're going to keep it for you. No, no kidding. I think we're going <laughs> to keep it. I think it, we love you. We love you and you're doing great work. You know, I love you and we love what you're doing. So we want to support you. And I think we're going to give it to you. And, and maybe we'll have a few other like for estheticians only, but it's not going to be, I don't think we're going to uh, make it a real big product for us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, hey, as long as you keep it for, for me, I'm yes. happy. Yes. We want to give you know, you're doing such great work and, and we want to make sure that you have products that are just for you and there, so there'll be more products that are out that will be exclusively that'll be oh, that I love that. that's so exciting oh i'll be i'll be waiting <laughs> Ooh, <I'm sure> <laughs> perfect the next product is a routine enhancing retinol yeah. serum yeah. and again this is amazing and so many questions so first i'll have you kind of talk about the product and then i will ask you a few questions that i get a lot on like questions like how to use this yes um and things like that so we talked about the rest period between retinol between between exfoliation retinol is like it's not it has some exfoliating properties that's not its main role it's, it's a nutritional mm -hmm. product it drives it stimulates fibroblasts it's important for how cells grow from the bottom to the top excuse me uh but there is a kind of aggressiveness associated with retinol and some people can only use retinol five percent once every two weeks retinol one percent maybe twice a week or three times a week mm -hmm. but other people want to use retinol more frequently right so the retinol we call it the routine enhancing serum because it's there to enhance your regular routine it has a very small amount of retinol 0.3 percent retinol which is a very trace amount and i call it a trace amount but that's pretty much the amount that you get from other retin from other products but i mm -hmm. to me that's a really that's a trace amount of retinol. And there's also an ingredient in there, a couple ingredients in there that kind of take the bite off of retinol. Mm -hmm. One is something called phytosterols, which are plant uh, phytonutrients. They're steroid-like nutrients that are found in plants. Phyto means plant, phytosterols. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's also the fullerenes that we talked about earlier. Fullerenes also, they're an antioxidant. They take the sting out of retinol. And there's a very small amount of retinol. So this is a retinol product that you can use every day. And again, it has all the same criteria that I'm always doing, uh, that all true treatments follow, which is every ingredient is functional or active. It's either doing something for your skin or supporting the activity of one of the, uh, of one of the ingredients by transdermal penetration. And uh, it has, uh, all the ingredients are compatible with your skin. In fact, they're either analogs of or exact mimics of things that are right in the skin. So it's like putting your skin on your skin. And that's really how I like to formulate the design or the intent was to allow people who want to use retinol a little more frequently, but they can't use the 1% or the 5% because they're too intense. So it's just a slight little bump of retinol. You can use it. We designed it to be used every day. Uh, or if you don't want to use it every day, maybe every, uh, maybe do your retinol 1% every third day and maybe use the routine enhancing serum every second day. You know, you kind of, kind of play around with a little bit, but it's designed to give you a little boost of retinol along with uh, the ingredients that kind of take the bite out of retinol. So it's designed for more frequent use. I'm so glad we talked about this. So perfect. Because one of the questions, and I know I'm going to ask you. can blend it. I'm sorry to interrupt. But you can, of course, blend it with other things, mm -hmm. with the Omega or with your uh, Truth Transdermal C Balm or even your Truth Transdermal C Serum. Perfect. I love that. And one of the questions, which you did answer, but um, just going to reinforce it. So, how much retinol is in this? 0.3. 0.3. Point three. Point three. Perfect. So, as that's opposed to one, one question I get a lot um, is how much retinol is in it. And I love that this is for like an everyday retinol product because yes. yeah, like your products are absolutely incredible and they're so potent. And for yeah. a lot of people, they just use way too much. And this yes. is like a yes. product <laughs> for I'm them. Glad you brought that. These products last so long because that's the only sad thing for me is that when I know my clients are using them correctly, like I won't hear like, 
I won't hear from him for like a year. I'm like, what in the heck? Like, I don't yeah. know if it's a good business. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> not the best business model. Um, yeah, I don't, no, yeah, not, I don't know. Maybe you should like rethink this. But yeah, I know. Um, yeah, it's I don't hear from them. I'm like, well, three model. years later, they're back for their refill, you know? <laughs> you know, I know what you're saying. I 100% know what you're saying. It's not the best business model, but it gives value to our consumers. Absolutely. You know, it's no, like I totally agree. Treating the consumer right is the way I look at it. Sometimes people say, oh, $199 for, you know, the truth transdermal C serum. Yeah, but it's lasting you six months. Oh, and not that more than that, that, honestly. The other question I get a lot is, can they use this with the retinol 1% or 5%? Uh, you're talking about the retinol enhancing serum? Yes. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. Well, you'll get a big, you'll get, you know, you'll bump up the retinol. You'll right. get even more than 5%. You know, 5% mm -hmm. retinol is a good healthy dose, as you know. That's pretty big, yeah. Uh, pretty good dose. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I didn't know I, when I came out with it because I've been using it myself and I want the whole idea of 5% retinol is I knew in the pharmacy that 0.05% retin-A was the standard go-to form uh, uh, prescription product for people who had acne or for people who had wrinkles or mm -hmm. for aging for, as, or, or who had photo damage or who had hyperpigmentation. And by the way, retinol is great for hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make a product that had the same potency as retin-A 0.05%. And it turns out that retinol is roughly 100 times weaker than retinoic acid, thus the 5%. 5% mm -hmm. is 100 times weaker than 0.05%, or 100 times stronger than 0.05%. So I wanted to make it the same potency. Plus, I knew, and this is really interesting, Leah, vitamin C and retinol go together perfectly. Mm -hmm. And I say that's interesting because we're told the opposite, that you don't want to use vitamin C. And I can't tell you how many times a week we get letters or we get calls from mm -hmm. people. All the time, I, same thing. Not true. When you're talking about fat soluble, stable vitamin C, when you're talking about ascorbic acid, then retinol can help uh, accelerate the breakdown of the oxidation of the ascorbic acid, and ascorbic acid can accelerate the oxidation of retinol. So mm -hmm. that's true with ascorbic acid. But with fat soluble vitamin C, you don't have any of those problems. And so with fat soluble vitamin C, you get the beauty, the advantages of the vitamin C for the uh, for enhancing the effects of the retinol. And the reason they're synergistic is because number one, the uh, vitamin C kind of takes the sting off the retinol. Kind of that's why people can use retinol five percent. Even some people who have sensitive skin sometimes can use retinol five percent, and that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll tell people about my retinol five percent, and they go, "Oh no, you mean 05 percent? You don't mean five percent?" I say, "No, I mean five percent." Five percent, yeah. <laughs> right? So the vitamin C takes the bite off of some of that retinol. Plus, vitamin C and retinol do some of the same things for the fibroblast. For mm -hmm. hyaluronic acid and for collagen production, they both activate the fibroblasts. So you're getting synergistic effects there. And then also, the retinol improves the penetration of the vitamin C. And the vitamin C improves the penetration of the retinol. So they enhance each other and they synergize each other in multiple ways. And I wanted to give people the advantage of vitamin C and retinol. And by the way, the two most important vitamins, the two most important ingredients topically for the skin, are retinol and mm -hmm. fat soluble vitamin C. If you're stranded on a, on a desert island land and you want to keep that beautiful skin going, make sure you're bringing retinol with you and make sure you're bringing fat soluble vitamin C with you. So I felt it was really important to put those together. So, and our retinol 5% and our retinol 1% is 25% fat soluble vitamin C. Mm -hmm. We're not messing around. It's yeah. like a vitamin C product as much as it is a retinol product and it lasts forever. So you, you know that you only use tiny amounts. This, yeah. I don't know if you know this, but we have a retinol 5% serum coming out too. Do you know about this? No, this is so exciting. Maybe I shouldn't have told you that, but but that's going to have some of, uh, that's going to have vitamin E in it, and that's going to have uh, those phytosterols in there as well. What is this? Oh, okay. I, maybe I, I shouldn't have said that. We'll talk about that on our next one. When you come okay. Visit. Yeah. What a tease. Fine. Um, okay. Well, well, one thing I did want to mention too is the sensitive skin clients. They love this because a lot of people, and you know, when you have sensitive skin and most likely you've been told, or like you went to somebody before that it's like, it doesn't matter. Just use this really harsh product and you get kind of afraid to use anything. Yeah. Um, this has really been the perfect stepping stone into like routine, routine enhancing. Yes. Yeah. With the retinol. Retinol. It's a perfect stepping stone because that's another thing. Mm -hmm. In addition to all those things we just talked about, the essential fatty acids, the niacin, the beta, cytosterol, the digestive issues to 
really protect your skin from being sensitive. And by the way, skin's not supposed to be sensitive. No. So you want, mm -hmm. it's, it's designed to be robust and, and to mm -hmm. be a barrier to the environment. So uh, you, there's a lot of ways to get yourself uh, to strengthen your skin. But with retinol, it turns out that your skin acclimates itself. It gets adjusted to retinol. So you may not have been able to use a 5%. You start off with a 0.3%. You can use that for a while. Then you graduate to a 1%. You can use that for a while. At the end of six months of using retinol on a regular basis, your lower dose retinol, you'll be able to use a stronger retinol. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I love this product. It's amazing. And I like the consistency of it as well. Gosh, this was so wonderful. I'm so excited. Thank you for coming on here on a Friday Thanks. night. Thanks. Yes. And when you Thanks get that five percent serum done, I will. You'll be the first to know about that. Yeah, I'm not going to forget this. <laughs> and I hope I see you in person soon. Yes, we are definitely going to schedule that. And again, thank you so much. I love you. I love your products. You're absolutely amazing, you. and I appreciate everything you do for us and all of our clients. So thank, thank you. you. And um, guys, if you have any questions after watching this video, as always, just drop them below. I'll get them answered. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thank <laughs> you.